Hello everybody! My name is Ma'am Lara Razon from the Division of Cavite City. For today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add fractions. But before we proceed to our lesson, let us define first what is fraction. Fraction came from a Latin word fractus which means broken, which represents a part of a whole or more generally, any number of equal parts. Fractions are very important in our day-to-day -day living. Whatever we do is just a portion of our tasks or goals on that day. Unconsciously, you are adding parts of your day to know your finished task. In this lesson, you will learn on how to add fractions. Fraction to another fraction, fraction to a whole number, fraction to a mixed number, and mix number to another mix number. We have here sliced pizzas. Mmm, yummy! The top number says how many slices we have. The bottom number says how many equal slices the whole pizza was cut into. Ang top number ay si numerator. It is number of parts we have. Ang bottom number naman ay si denominator. It is the number of parts the whole is divided into. Remember, numerator over denominator. Some fractions may look different, but they are really the same. Example, 4 over 8 is equal to 2 over 4. 2 over 4 is equal to 1 over 2. It is usually best to show an answer using the simplest fraction. That is called simplifying or reducing the fraction. Hmm. When do we say that fractions are similar or dissimilar? 1 over 3 and 2 over 3 are similar fractions. 4 over 7 and 7 over 8 are dissimilar fractions. Based on our given examples, fractions are similar if they have the same denominator. It is dissimilar if they have different denominators. Adding similar fractions. If the fractions to be added have the same denominator, simply add the numerators and copy the common denominator. If possible, simplify your answer. Let's have examples. 1 over 5 plus 2 over 5. They are similar fractions because they have same denominator. We're going to add numerators. 1 plus 2 equals 3. And just copy the denominator. So 1 over 5 plus 2 over 5 is equal to 3 over 5. Next example is 1 over 9 plus 5 over 9. They are similar fractions. We're going to add the numerators. 1 plus 5 equals 6. And then copy the denominator. 1 over 9 plus 5 over 9 is equal to 6 over 9. If we're going to simplify 6 over 9, we're going to get 2 over 3. Remember, the best answer is the simplest form. Again, in adding similar fractions, first add the numerators, then copy the common denominator, and then simplify your answer. In adding the similar fractions, 1. Find the least common denominator or LCD. 2. Change the fractions to similar fractions using the least common denominator. 3. Add the numerators and write the results over the common denominator. If necessary, reduce the answer to its lowest term. When the sum is an improper fraction, change it to a mixed number. First example is 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3. They are dissimilar fractions. Hmm, what do you think is the answer? Adding dissimilar fractions is almost the same with adding similar fractions. The only difference is kailangan natin gawing similar fractions ang dissimilar fractions by getting or using the equivalent fractions. We are going to change the fractions to similar fractions by listing all the equivalent fractions of 1 over 6 and 1 over 3. 
Pwede din natin hanapin ang LCD ng 6 at 3. Ang LCD ng 6 at 3 ay 6. Imumultiply natin ang 1 over 3 by 2 over 2. Remember, multiply both top and bottom the same amount to keep the value of the fraction the same. 1 over 6 and 2 over 6 are now similar fractions. Pwede na nating i-add ang numerators. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Copy the denominator, 6. So, 1 over 6 plus 2 over 6 is equal to 3 over 6. Don't forget to simplify your answer. 3 over 6 is equal to 1 over 2. Always remember, multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same amount to keep the value of the fraction the same. Next example is 2 over 3 plus 1 over 5. We're going to change the fractions to similar fractions by listing or getting the equivalent fractions. Or find the LCD. The LCD of 3 and 5 is 15. 2 over 3 times 5 over 5. 1 over 5 times 3 over 3. Si 2 over 3 ay magiging 10 over 15. Si 1 over 5 ay magiging 3 over 15. Pwede na natin i-add ang numerators. 10 plus 3 is equal to 13. Copy the denominator. The answer is 13 over 15. Mixed fraction is the combination of whole number and a fraction. Improper fraction has a top number larger than or equal to the bottom number. One and three over four is the same as seven over four. One and three over four is a mixed number. If we're going to change 1 and 3 over 4 into improper fraction, we can get 7 over 4. Hmm. How can we change mixed fraction to improper fraction or vice versa? In adding mixed numbers, 1. See to it that the fractional parts are similar fractions. If not, rename and give its equivalent fractions with the common denominator. 2. Add the numerators. Write the sum over the same denominator. 3. Add the whole numbers. 4. Write the result as the sum of whole numbers and fractions. And last, Express the answer in lowest term if possible. Our example is 2 and 3 over 4 plus 4 and 2 over 5. So ang gagawin natin ay ililista natin ang mga equivalent fractions para makuha natin ang similar fractions ng 3 over 4 at 2 over 5. So, sa 3 over 4, gagamitin natin ay 15 over 20. Sa 2 over 5, gagamitin natin ay 8 over 20. So, similar fractions na sila. Pwede natin i-add ang numerators. 15 plus 8 equals 23. So, the answer is 6 and 23 over 20. Ang fraction natin dito ay improper fraction. 
So, improper fraction, change natin siya into mixed fraction or mixed number. So, 23 divided by 20. 23 divided by 20 is 1. 1 times 20 is 20. 23 minus 20 is 3. Yung remainder na 3, magiging numerator. Yung 20 na divisor, magiging denominator. So, anong gagawin natin dito sa 6? Ipa-plus natin siya dun sa whole number. So, 6 plus 1 and 3 over 20. So, 6 plus 1 and 3 over 20 equals 7 and 3 over 20. So, 2 and 3 over 4 plus 4 and 2 over 5 is equal to 7 and 3 over 20. This is the final answer. So, pwede din natin siyang isolve ng ganito. So, what is the LCD of 4 and 5? 20. So, kung nahihirapan pa rin mag-identify na LCD, ilista lang ang multiples ng 4 at multiples of 5. And then, 20 divided by 5 is 4 times 2 is 8. 20 divided by 4 is 5 times 3 is 15. Hindi natin muna gagalawin ang whole numbers. So, pag meron na tayong similar fractions dito, pwede na natin ilagay ang whole numbers. Then add. 15 plus 8 is 23. Copy the denominator. Then 2 plus 4 is 6. And then, improper fraction, magiging 6 plus 1 and 3 over 20. Or, 7 and 3 over 20. Same lang ng answer yung nakuha natin. 7 and 3 over 20. And then, 7 and 3 over 20. Next example is 4 and 3 over 8 plus 3 and 3 over 12 plus 9 and 1 over 4. So, itry muna nating maglista ng mga equivalent fractions. So we have here 9 over 24, 6 over 24, and then 6 over 24. So let's add 9 plus 6 plus 6 is equal to 21. Then 4 plus 3 plus 9 is equal to 16. Simplify natin yung fraction na 21 over 24. 7 over... So simplify natin yung 21 over 24 magiging 7 over 8. So the final answer is 16 and 7 over 8. So, try natin yung isang method. To get 
the LCD, pwede kayong mag-listing method. Ililista nyo yung multiples of 8, 12, and 4. So, the LCD is 24. Then, huwag muna natin intindihin ang whole numbers. Disregard muna yung whole numbers. 24 divided by 4 is 6 times 1 is 6. 24 divided by 12 is 2 times 3 is 6. 24 divided by 8 is 3 times 3 is 9. Bago natin nilalagay ang whole numbers. Then, similar fractions sa sila, pwede na natin i-add. 9 plus 6 is 15 plus 6 is 21. Copy the denominator. Then, 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 9 is 16. Simplify natin, 16 and 7 over 8. So, same answer yung nakuha natin sa itaas at sa ibaba. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button below. And don't forget to click the notification bell. Always remember, math is easy, math is fun. Bye! See you on my next video!